Today in history. It's time for us to find out what interesting and significant things have happened on this day in the past. Absolutely, but first a quiz question for you. Which of the following is contained in Korea's founding myth? Number one, mandu. Number two, garlic. Or number three, coffee. Ah. Again, which of the following is contained in Korea's founding myth? Number one, mandu. Number two, garlic. Or number three, coffee. If you know the answer, you can put it on our Bondi board or text in pounder sharp 1045 for 51 to win a wireless mouse. Okay, we're going to be talking about two items today and here they are. Today in history. In 1949, October 3rd was designated Korea's National Foundation Day, and in 1990, the reunification of Germany took place. 1949년 양력 10월 3일이 개천절로 지정된 날이고요. 또 1990년 10월 3일은 독일이 통일된 날입니다. Well, of course, every culture around the world has its origin myths, mm-hmm. right? And our nation is no exception, as today is Korea's National Foundation Day. That's right. This day was enacted as a national holiday in 1909. And until 1949, it was commemorated on the third day of the 10th month, according to the lunar calendar. Uh-huh. And it wasn't until 1949 that Foundation Day, or Gaetanjal in Korean, that October 3rd in the solar or Gregorian calendar was designated as the day when we celebrate the creation of the state of Gojoseon, or ancient Korean. Now, founding myths are unique and valuable cultural assets for every culture, mm-hmm. right? Right, I'm going to say ancient Korea, I guess. Mm. Wow, and uh, generally speaking, founding myths usually contain supernatural elements. And in our case, we're supposedly descendants of a bear that became a woman who in turn gave birth to Tangun the founder of our nation. Of course, animals also are also uh, present in other cultures' founding myths. In the case of Rome, legend says the founders were raised by a she-wolf. Ah, mm-hmm. 그렇군요. Mm. 마늘을 먹고, 네, 그렇습니다. 자, now let's move on to our second event, the reunification of Germany. Yeah, huge event. Divided into East and West uh, Germany, the two sides became one single state on this day in 1990. Thus, this day is also known as the Germany Unity Day. And of course, when it comes to Germany's reunification, we can't leave out the fall of the Berlin Wall, a relic of the Cold War era in Europe, and the physical and symbolic division between the former East and West Germanys. Here's a short clip from that historic moment. A neighborhood party, Berlin style. There's a big hole in the second wall. On the east side of the Berlin Wall, something new tonight. Soldiers dismantling it, not guarding it with rifles. And on the west, the fire department doing its part to open a road closed 28 years by morning. I put down this this platform because tomorrow we will open this. I remember. I uh, seeing that actually, I was um, studying the grad school mm. uh, translation interpretation, and that's when we had to do a lot of uh, articles based on the, uh, the the story. I see. It's crumbling down finally. Yeah, right. Mm. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today in history. Before we wrap things up, though, the answer to the quiz question: the question was, which of the following is contained in Korea's founding myth? The answer: number two, garlic. Okay, that's all we have today for today in history. We we'll come back tomorrow. Or on Monday, Monday, actually, yes, with more from the past.